name's Roger Billings. Um, I'm a retired clergyman. I used to be full-time sort of paid. I retired here 12 years ago and linked myself up with the work of the parish church here in Cromer. So I basically do what I'm asked to. I preach occasionally, help with funerals, help at various homes and places. I was um, 35. I used to work for Midland Bank and wandered around the Midlands. And then it just seemed right at the age of 35 that sort of God wanted me to change horses, as it were. I left banking from Banbury, actually, and trained at college for three years started working in the church. I'd always been involved in sort of church work in my hometown in Leicester. I ran the youth club and was a server and did various other stuff in church. Unfortunately, um, I'm a Christian. I became a Christian when I was 10 years old as a boys' Bible class. I don't think I had any real concept of sin. I'm not sure a 10-year-old does. But I knew that I wanted Jesus to be special and be my friend. And I suppose that's all it was then. And then gradually, like a series of staircases... I gradually began to understand more and more about what it meant. When you've got the church itself, uh, and the church opens itself for all who want it, so the schools come for Harvest Festival and Christmas. This year was rather special, of course, being 100 years. Um, the, the war memorial outside in town has been um, redone, been sort of cleaned up and recarved. So that was dedicated on Saturday afternoon. And Sunday morning we had a, a big service here with a two-minute silence. And in the afternoon we had a civic service with a parade of the various organisations, British Legion, Lifeboat Men. How has the church changed over time? Well, it was built in the 1300s when a village that is now under the sea in a village which is where this church was, was combined and the present church and the existing church was pulled down and this church was built. Worship would have been quite different from what we know today. Over the years, the church sort of suffered ups and downs fortune and certainly by the 1850s, it was virtually derelict and they had to blow up the top end with gunpowder because it was unsafe. The future. Yeah, good question. Um, I think the church will still be here. I mean, it stood for 700 years so far, and I don't see any reason why it shouldn't stand for the next 700 years. How we do it, that might change. Um, I mean, high tech is coming in. But I hope we won't lose that sense of friendship and fellowship. And I should hate us to be an online church where nobody sees any or talks to anybody, but always does it online. There's something special about meeting together, and I think that'll still happen. We may wear different clothes, we may do different things, but the core, I think, will be the same. Thank you.